Hello Internet and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be inspecting the Manchester City squads, finances and overall setup. If this is your first time here, you want to, want to hit that subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all my football manager related content going forward. Now if you're wondering what I look like and why there's no webcam on there, well uh, I'm not going to put my webcam on there. Here's just a quick sneak peek of what I look like. If you don't believe me, that gives you a bit more reason, a bit more incentive to hit that subscribe button. As in the other videos, I do show my face, but just not tonight, because of the night belongs to Football Manager 18. And I've been up for a long, long time, and I plan to stay awake a little longer to try and get each and every one of these Premier League videos in the in up online ASAP. Anyway, enough chipper jabber, let's jump straight in with the start of the vid. Obviously, Manchester City are going to be one of the teams, uh, many beginners um, or returnees like myself have been away, uh, been not playing for a while, might want to take up Manchester City because realistically, they're going to be packing a huge punch. Um, so, a quick overview, okay, you click on the home page, this is what you will see. Obviously, I haven't got any of the face packs or any of the, the graphics updated to... Uh, what this should be because I'm using this as soon as I got my hands on it. Uh, some of the squads they're going to be facing in pre season Al Jazeera. Uh, they're going to be playing uh, Galaxy, Real Salt Lake, and Vancouver. So, a bit of a United States tour. And I know you all want to check it out. So, let's go have a look at what the finance is. Up for grabs for Manchester City 80 million up for grabs. And if the if the, you do make any sales, you can uh, keep 90% of that. You've got a wage budget of 3.3 million pounds, and you can also crank that sucker up to 87 million pounds. So, not too bad, you know, if you look at Blackburn Rovers and what they've got to play with, it ain't, it doesn't even match your scouting budget. So, that's how, uh, how drastic things are down that neck of the woods. Uh, and you were not there not that long ago. I, I mean, you were there in League One, third tier of English football, about 10, 12 years ago. So, um, enjoy. Anyway, let's take a look at the under 18 for Manchester City. Uh, slim Pickens. It looks pretty. It looks like a tight squad. Jeremy Frimpong. I've seen his name knocking about over the years. Uh, Felix Nementia, another German in there. Uh, Eric Garcia. Uh, Colin Rosler, so it's a nice mix uh, bag of international names and players in there. Actually, Nementia is top dog, hundred thousand uh, pounds worth, sixteen years old. He, who's this? Who's tall? Tallest here? Tom Scott, six point four. Nabil Tuzazi is six point two feet. Interesting, interesting. Let's go take a look at your under twenty three squad. Once again, it's getting customised in a nice, clean order. Six keepers in the under-23s. Uh, Joe Hart being one of them. He's actually on loan to West Ham. Angus Gunn, 21 years old. I think he is a relation to Brian Gunn, ex-Norwich uh, keeper. And he was also on Norwich's books. In fact, he's on, the, on loan right now. Curtis Anderson, youngster in there. And you've got Ayan Jach Murich, Swiss Young Swiss goalkeeper. Also, Cameron Humphreys. Oh, yeah, he's some youngster wanted by Forrest Green. A um, couple of folks on holiday. You got a work permit snafu to take care of there. Quite an extensive under 23s. So let's take a look at who the most expensive man in the under 23s is. It's actually Joe Hart, 18 million. Patrick Roberts comes in at 15.5 million. Douglas Luis, a uh, young 19 year old who's on holiday, 14 million. Marlos Marino, 20 year old Colombian. Jason Denier, defender, he's looking to get in the World Cup. So these guys must be frustrated that they're not in the first team in the real world. Who's the tallest amongst them? It's this young keeper here. So in fact, three keepers all ranking at 6.5. Who's the one that needs to go on a crash diet? Pablo Mari, 191 pounds. Anyway, let's jump into the deep end with the senior squad. Just get them organized. Claudio Bravo and Edison, two fantastic keepers, sport for choice. And then you've got your first team here. 
Toshin Adariabio and don't know who he is. He's he's been pushed up into the senior squad. Uh, he's wanted by some League One teams. Magala is wanted by Spurs and Paris Saint Germain. They stuck Delph on the transfer list. Um, who's this fella? Alexander Shinchenko, young Ukrainian prospect. Um, Baram Diaz, young Spanish prospect. Who is the most valuable player? Kevin De Bruyne. Sergio Aguero, not far behind. And there's a bit of a gap between Gudongan, Silva, and Jesus. Uh, who's the tallest amongst them? This this youngster, 6'5". Bohemoth at the back. Vincent Company, not far behind. Contract scenarios. Torre, Fernandinho, both up for grabs in the summer. So you got to decide. Do you want to keep them on for another season? We'll get rid of them. Two, there'll be uh, if you did get released, that's nearly three hundred thousand uh, pounds up for grabs for maybe Sanchez or whoever you're sniffing around, uh, Ozil. Um, but anyway, uh, let's take a look at other aspects of Manchester City competitions now. Confidence is pretty steady. In fact, across the board, pretty steady. But they want us to qualify for the Champions League. They want us to reach the final of the FA Cup. They're not too fussed about the League Cup. And they want us to get to the quarterfinal of the Champions League. So that's not too uh, over the odds. Um, and I'm sure there's a way that you can actually say, nah, I'm going to go one better than this. And I'm going to win the Premier League. Or, ah, I'm going to win the FA Cup. And then you might get some... Uh, Extra rewards for your efforts. Um, as for your team report, like in other videos, a lot of text here and a lot of information to dissect. So feel free to pause the video and take it in yourself. I'm not going to read it to you. Uh, squad depth. Obviously, Manchester City are full of quality across the board. Only a ridiculous person will come in and make wholesale changes to this lineup of it but there are if you, there are some areas of concern you know center backs that despite john stones costing an arm and leg otamendi got an arm and leg mangela got an arm and leg company is 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 uh getting on a bit uh, so that's probably an area of that you would like to strengthen uh as for the dynamics of the club let's get a closer look atmosphere and dressing room is very good uh, as for the other two not the greatest as for the hierarchical structure of within the squad De Silva or David uh, David Silva company and Aguero three players that you can consider as your leaders and uh, skippers uh, should well obviously his company is is the captain but should he decide to move on pastures new or injured, then you'll be looking at these two guys to take over the reins. Um, what about the core social group? A lot of familiar names in there. These are you guys. These are your mentors um, moving forward for any youngsters that, uh, that need some guidance. And how about overall happiness? Uh, a lot of dark greens knocking around. Uh, this guy feels excellent. But no one, no one uh, matches uh, one of those Liverpool players or whoever they were who felt perfect. But um, yeah, not a bad team to manage. You've got the money. You know, you've already got the squad. You've already got the foundations, and and you just got to go in there and do and finish the business and uh, and, and get the job done over the line. Um, so that's pretty much all I've got for you for, the, for this one. Uh, if there's something I missed, please leave a comment in the section below. I plan to do each and every Premier League team over the next few days. However, if there's a team out there, maybe it be LA Galaxy, Hamburg or Vancouver or somewhere even more bizarre, just let me know. Put a little comment in the description below and I'll take a look. Uh, and as for the rest of my plans... What's the initial craziness of the beta and the actual release of FM18 calms down? I plan to do some uh, game saves and I've got some cracking storylines uh, just around the corner. So please stick around. But until next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere.
Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.